What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinBurtech.com and this is another tutorial in Unix shell scripting. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to print hello world on the screen. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is open up a terminal. This is the terminal here. Now if you guys don't know what a terminal is, you have to watch my previous video where I explain everything. But yeah, first uh, open up a terminal. Once in this terminal, we're going to want to change the directory. We want to go to the root directory. To do that we're going to type in cd which is the code for change directory. We're going to hit space and, th and then we're going to type in the directory we want. In this case, it's the root. So root directory, we use this symbol here, the forward slash. So we're going to hit enter. So as you can see here, now we're in the root directory. Now I'm going to use a code called dir and we're going to hit enter. This uh, dir code is uh, used to list all the folders and uh, files that are in this directory. We'll show you exactly what's in this directory. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is make a new directory or folder. To do that, we're going to use the code MKDIR, which is make directory. Hit space. We're going to give our folder or directory a name. I'm going to call mine blue. I'm going to hit enter. Now it created a new folder in this directory. Now I'm going to use the, the code DIR again. So it lists all the folders in this directory. We're going to hit enter. And we're going to look for our, here we go. This is the new folder we created in the root directory, blue. Now, to get to this folder, we're going to again type in uh, cd, which is change directory, hit space, the forward slash, and uh, which is root directory, and the file name in the root directory, which is blue. Hit enter, and now we're in the blue folder in the root directory, as you can see here. Now, we're going to use a code called vim. This code is like a uh, built-in text editor in the, the terminal. So, we're going to type in VIM, we're going to hit space, and now we're going to create a file name. I'm going to use, uh, we can create anything you want. I'm gonna, I'll type in green. Then we have to hit, uh, use a dot, then we have to type SH. So we, we used this code VIM, which launches a text editor. We hit space, we gave our text file a name, green dot. SH. Now this dot sh is important. This is this is like the extension. Without this, this program won't work. So now we're gonna hit enter. And now we're in the text editor here. Now the first thing we're gonna want to do while we're in this text editor is make sure we hit enter. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna want to do is hit hit enter and so we can uh, start writing. Once you st once you see the characters uh, come on the screen, you'll know you're in uh, insert mode. So just delete this. Now the first thing we're gonna want to type is this uh, hashtag symbol, uh, the exclamation point, forward slash, B-I-N, forward slash, S-H. Every time we create a shell script, we have to type that in. This, kind of, this lets the program know that this is like a shell script. So we're going to hit enter again. We're going to type in clear. We're going to hit enter again. And you can hit space a couple of times if you want. We're going to type in echo. Echo is a command it's, it, that uh, tells the script to print on the screen. After we type in echo, we're going to hit space, then use the double quotes, type in the double quote. We're going to type in the words that we want to print on the screen. So in this case, it's going to be hello, space, then world. End it with a double quotation. Now this program is done. Now to exit and save this program, you're going to hit escape. You're going to press the escape button one time. Then you're going to type in the colon, which is this double dot thing on the bottom. And you're going to type in WQ, which is for save and quit. So hit enter. Now save the program and we exited the program. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is give that program permission. To do that, we have to type in CHMOD, hit space, the plus symbol, x, hit space again, our file name, which in this case is green, dot sh, and then we're going to type enter. Now, we gave our new file permission, so th the program will run. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is actually run the program. To run any file or program, you use the dot forward slash the file name, which is green, dot sh, 
which is the extension. We're going to hit enter. And as you can see, it worked. It printed hello world on the screen. That's pretty neat, right? All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissim from RossBirdTech.com, and thanks for watching.